Monday, which means it's time for another video. This is another request. I'm trying to get to all your requests when I did that video on giving me requests for movies to review. And like I said, I'm trying to get through all the requests as much as possible. And this movie I'm going to re be reviewing today was requested by Bimpy96. I actually have seen it before plenty of times. And it is Dolls. And this is not my copy of Dolls. This is my fiance's. I actually do not own Dolls. I know Screen Factory released it. But I'm pretty sure it's out of print. So it's probably worth a lot of money. And I don't think I would ever buy it if it's like over 50 bucks. Um, as much as, as good of a movie this is, I just don't see myself getting it anytime soon. If Only if I found it for a decent price. But like I said, this is not my copy of Dolls. Um, and this actually is not very long of a movie at all either. It's only like, I think an hour and 15 minutes. So the time definitely... Oh, it says here an hour and 18 minutes. But the time... It, it feels a little bit longer sometimes. But it's definitely very like... Compared to like other... This is like a really bad glare. But like other doll movies, like Child's Play and stuff. This is definitely underlooked. This came out a year before Child's Play. Um, and this is also directed by Stuart Gordon, who had who has done Reanimator, um, From Beyond, Castle Freak, all great movies, and this is another example of a great movie. Honestly, I've every Stuart Gordon movie that I've watched has been like good. So and it's a shame that he passed away because he made so many, like, great movies, and this is one of them. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about this movie at all, either. But it's basically these this family gets stuck, in, like, in the middle of nowhere, ends up at this mansion. Um, these owners, they have all these dolls, and the dolls come to life, as you can see from the uh, uh, front cover of this. And I'm really sorry about the glare, too. It's the freaking sun coming through the window. But the dolls are great because they're like the porcelain dolls. And they look like porcelain dolls. And they kill people. And they're, as you see on this front cover, they do the, um, a scene in this movie with um, the one woman gets killed and she holds her eyeballs like that. Um, it, it's definitely one that you have to watch to understand what it's about. Um, I don't want to give too much away because if you haven't seen it, you should really check it out because it is a fun movie and it keeps you entertained throughout the whole movie. It's not real, it's not a serious horror film by any means, but it's still one that you should watch. Ugh, this glare is bothering me, but there's not much I really have, really want to say about it. Without giving too much away, but give it a watch. I don't know if it is on Shutter still, because I know um, Bimpy96, he said it was on Shutter, but it was only till the end of the month. So I don't know if it's still on Shutter. It might be on Tubi. It probably is on Tubi. Um, but I don't know how much this DVD is. I'd have to look into that. But it's great special effects, like amazing special effects. And I know, um, he did this between, I think this, this was, um, the script was done before From Beyond, so, but it came out a year after, or it was, I, I, I'm not sure, um, date-wise, like, what came, I'm pretty sure this came first before From Beyond, but From Beyond got released first, but this is definitely, compared to other Stuart Gordon films, it's definitely a weird one for him to do. Because all his other ones are kind of like zombie, zombie-ish. Like, Reanimator's kind of like a zombie film. Um, From Beyond is very, like, it's, that's a weird, <laughs> that is a weird movie. Um, definitely one, I'm pretty sure I review that as well. Um, Castle Freak is kind of like a medieval type, like, monster movie thing. Um, so this is definitely one that doesn't get talked about compared to the other Stuart Gordon films, in my opinion. But definitely give it a watch if you haven't seen it. Um, it's it's a fun movie. There's really nothing bad about this film. It's To me, it's a cult classic. And it's just 
entertaining and I love it. <laughs> but that's really all I have to say about dolls. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, let me know what some movie, other movies you guys want me to review. Like I said, I'm trying to get to all your reviews. So if I don't get to your review right away, I'm I'm not ignoring it. I'm just I have to watch a lot of the reviews that you guys requested. But yeah, in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Thursday.